Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Co-op. Jumping into Dredge for the first time, developed by Black Salt Games and published by Team17. Thank you very much for the review key. This is a game that's coming out on the 31st of March 2023, but we've given a early access preview. Dredge is a single player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. Sell your catch, upgrade your boat, and dredge the depths for long buried secrets. Explore a mysterious archipelago and discover why some things are best left forgotten. So it looks very, very interesting. And looking forward to jumping in. Oh damn, shipwrecked. Was the lighthouse working? It appears so. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold wet dock where you collapse the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a way, a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose you, I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Okay, so we've got 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. We have a pursuit. We press tab. Cabin pursuits. A fresh start, catch fish for the day. As many fish as I can, then head back to Greater Marrow. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Move forward with WS and turn with AD. Whoa, that's quick. Oh yeah, and the mouse controls the camera. Beautiful, I love it. Now, I'd say this is something to fish up. F to fish, disturbed water. So we'll start fishing. Oh, blue mackerel. Uh, I'm going to place it. Oh, wow. So you've got inventory management. Okay. And you can rotate. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, let's fish again. Uh, got that again. Can I, okay, so you, can only, you can't stack them. Can you stack them? No, you can't stack them. Three. Oh, let's do it again. And that crawls. So that's 8.42, so time's ticking over pretty quick. Oh. Oh, I thought that might have been a special one with the three different spots. Another one. 9.41. Okay, depleted. Sweet. So we're going to leave. Okay, let's go over to this one over here. This is pretty cool. Like, just, I mean, it's only a couple of minutes in, but it controls nice. It looks nice. Disturbed water, you don't have the right spot. Oh, right equipment, okay. Okay, let's go to this one. Have we got the right gear? Yes, we do. Oh, this looks good. Oh, what do we get? Oh, we got a card. Okay. Ah, ah this is a bit of Tetris. Can I move my fishing rod? I can't move my fishing rod. All right, let's let's make some adjustments here. Okay. Oh, that's so Tetris. How cool! I love it. Okay, next one. Oh, this one's got four. Oh no, I stuffed it. Okay, we can't. Oh, I depleted. All right. 
And it's one one nineteen already, so let's go. Oh, it looks a bit. Is that ice on the water? Maybe. No, I haven't got the right gear. Okay. How about this one? This looks like a good school. Yes. Here we go. Blue mackerel again. So we'll put that one there. Brilliant. That's great. And it's 3.54. We're getting towards uh, time. Yeah, I can catch one more of these. Oh, it's 5.05. Okay, let's go. It's getting dark. Okay, now yeah, I'm going to get back to tab, cabin, encyclopedia. Okay, that's cool. So we caught 10 mackerel and 3 cod. <clears throat> so time only advance when you're moving fishing or take out, out specific actions. That's good. Select your lights by holding E and lights on. Ah. How cool. Okay. Can I, can I dock? F. Hold it down. It's brilliant. You step out of the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you return in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it alone. I want to make this easy. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, we need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it? Uh, yep. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. So we're going to go to the fishmonger. We enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The more your smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Okay, so we're gonna sell all fish. And we're gonna hold down F. Boom, 126, and we got interest off that. Okay. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide this town. Here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part, a curious looking component, could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at the dock first. Let's pick that up. Let's put it down there. Hey, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Yeah, let's go to the shipwright now. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Ah. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, so... Uh, we don't need anything to repair, so this one... This, fish, this one here is a coastal one, and this one catches shallow stuff. Now we have a prop, so our current prop we compare, rusty outboard engine, but speeds 14 knots, 
There's 10 nuts to slot. The lights are good, I reckon. I reckon we could get a shallow uh, fishing rod. Ah, so you kind of do need lights. Okay. So this is install times two hours, but and the fishing speed's plus 35%. And I think, yeah, I reckon we get a shallow one. I'm, I'm just gambling here, but we've got nothing to lose. So we'll put that in the bottom there. Oops. It takes two. Okay, so two hours pass. Righto. Okay. Uh, enter repair mode. I'm pretty, I thought we were good. Fixed damage and durability. Um, oh, there. Okay, exit repair mode. <clears throat> Okay, um, now, I assume we rep no go to the mayor, what can I do for you? Um, let him to the last fisherman, hmm? the last fisherman, oh, he was very unreliable. <clears throat> He'd go out at night, come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain, I mean really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in broad daylight, the shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? Um, ask about the wider region. Certainly, is there somewhere in particular you wish to know about? Mm, Devil's Spine sounds interesting. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst the city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there another area like to discuss? Uh, Twisted Strand? Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're going to explore there. Uh, Stella Basin? Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the at atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those? Is there another area? And the Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. And that is it. Uh, dun 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 dun. And I assume we just rest Ooh, what's that red marker interesting uh well let's undock let's go fishing me me very slippy slidey that's all right okay now i wonder if you have to switch gear oh oh oh, oh. inspect a floating buoy it serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. The dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of night. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Shallow. Brilliant. So it automatically chooses which one we need. Oh, the flounder. Oh, wow. So these take up squares. Okay, just another one. I guess we, we've got to find the uh, the optimum fish for the haul versus uh, cost. We'll leave there because they're taking up a lot of space. Something over here. Oh, is that light there? Let's check out what this flashing. Oh, it looks like a message in a bottle. It's taking a bit of time, but I think it could be worth it. I love me a shiny. 20th of August 1927, added to the cabin. Messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here, the layers, layers and colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows. So I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, truly. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. 
He wanted to throw away everything with the old, the old name on it, but I kept the keychain, Ocean's Riches. It was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half ridden, half hidden stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. That's cool. Encyclopedia. So that's a new fish. We, haven't got any, we don't know what that is. We haven't caught that yet. But we have seen it apparently. Well, it's midday, so we're not, uh, uh, not doing too bad. Oh, we haven't got... Okay, we haven't got that. That's our original town there. Okay, so let's let's stay nearby on this second voyage. Blue mackerel. Oh, boo! Depleted. That's fine. Now, I wonder if we can catch these big fish here, and whether we can have the axe now. We haven't got the gear. That's all right. Now, can I look down there? Oh, I can. I'm a little wary of time and how much I'm going to explore, so I'm going to... I don't want to see the other town there. There's something there, but... Oh, I could catch... Did I catch them before? Oh, damn it. Grey eel. Ooh, three of them. Oh, damn it. What does that mean? Oh, a trophy! Oh wow, look how big it is, 96.8! Right, we can get one more. Oh! Oh man! That'll do. Alright, 6 o'clock, let's go in. Oh, I went the wrong way around that way, didn't I? That's cool, with new species. Let's have a look. 7 o'clock. Uh oh, look at that eye! The, oh, and then that thing's... I don't know what that is, I'm a bit scared. Ooh, I think that was getting on the really cusp. On the cusp. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. They asked for one gulf flounder and one grey eel. Oh, wow. Boom. Have you got any fish for that? Yes, I do. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice till it's ready to go. So let's give him the really good one. I kind of feel I'm wasting it, though. Let's actually save that one. And then a flounder. Yeah, cool. Fishmanger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Mm. But good. They should be pleased with these. We've got another order here. There's This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And, well, you know what nights are like around here. Uh, keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths so I can pay you more for them. Okay. Now let's uh, sell all the fish. So just hold down F. Even that rare one. Oh, did I lose the rare one? That's weird. Anyway. Okay. Turn to town. So we've got 50 bucks. Ship. Oh, 18 remaining. Oh, well, let's just pay it off. Uh, I want to pay off my debt. I would like to pay all of it. There you go. Fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? That's it. Go back to fishing. Uh, we've got a tab there with cabin pursuits. So two arrow squid and one black grouper. Okay. I'm a bit scared of that, but let's uh, change. Or actually, do we just brave it? Do we just brave it? The mirror is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Marrow is growing. The town is sure to be soaring with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Uh, how do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay, so plus two rod spaces. Of oh, wow. Okay. 
new hull is 500 plus all those resources. Very good. Okay, let's go back. I kind of feel like fishing. I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Now, the only thing will be... The only thing will be if I can find... Uh oh. This is really dark. So is this... Squid! Oh! One, they want two squid. Might as well get another one. Okay. And they want a grouper, right? Uh, oh god. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleep will reduce it. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get back in the dock. We got our squid. I'm glad I risked it. Alright, let's sleep. You! A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? Uh, I've come to meet people. <sighs> Nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Hmm. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The contents don't feel like anything at all, just a wrapped mess of shapes. Yes, let's do it. Let's put it in down there. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it, I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Let's take off. Oh, hang on. What's this? Cabin pursuits. Okay, the package. The map. Aha. Okay, so we're going to go straight. That's the town straight across. Let's go. Let's do this. Now, is there a waypoint system? Probably not. <clears throat> Let's go across here anyway. Let's go straight there. It's gonna take some time. Unless we see some fish we haven't caught before. I guess we're gonna learn what the fish schools look like. To me that looks like mackerel. Let's just test the theory. Oh no, this is the bass. Uh cod, sorry. Let's just get two of these. Okay, so they're cod. What are these? These could be... Oh, these are flounder. Okay, let's leave those. Let's dock here. Mm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. It tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin, perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Uh, trader! You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Oh, is that... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Give me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. Purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Um, no, I don't. Sorry. We're off, we're off. Let's go check out... Is that a stingray? It is a stingray. One, three, two, boom. Oh jeez, alright, we're gonna get one stingray today, okay. And then this looks like flotsam. Oh, you don't have the right spot for the equipment. My bad. So, ooh, okay, this looks like a big fish. I reckon I don't have the equipment for that either. There's another town. It's 12 o'clock midday, let's have a look. Yep, 
I can fit one of those. What can I? How can I move it? I can't move those around. No. Okay. Well, that's. I get one mackerel. But let's go and see if we can dock here. It's two thirty, so we got time. We'll visit here. See if there's anything we can pick up or interact with. We'll head back. Blackston Isle. We've got a workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Uh, ruined mansion. The door is locked. And that's it. Something for later. Intriguing. Intriguing. Okay, now, map. We want to get back to Greater Marrow. So we're going to go the right way, this way. 345. We should be able to get there in time. I don't need my lights on yet. Yeah, there's, oh, I haven't got, I haven't got um, materials for the uh, method to pick this up, do I? Or space. Nope. Okay. 5 pm. Yeah, I think we did the right thing. We want to find, we want to learn what groupers look like in terms of the school. So this could be a mackerel. Let's just see. We've got one. Oh, it disappeared. I made them dive deep. Spooked them. Okay, now, shipper. No, they're, they're smaller, aren't they? The lights, cloudy lens, cracked bowl. Okay, well, let's go, let's see, exit. <clears throat> let's go sell our stuff. Hmm. I've got the squid, I don't have the groper, so let's put the squid in there. And you can return these items later. Okay, done. Uh, okay, regular business. Let's sell the fish. Wow, that's a good haul. 118, nice. And to dry dock. That's okay. Right, so there's no other option other than do these. Okay. And then let's just go to the shipwright one more time. So. Yeah, lights and engines and fishing rods is the only thing we can do. So I could sell that. Oh wait. I'll go fishing rods. So this one is a shallow one. It's the same as that. This one's shallow and shallow. And this one is coastal. Alright. I think we... Uh, let's dock again. Let's just leave it there for the first playthrough. So we'll rest. Cool that you can wake up during the middle of the night. I guess you can do some quick fishing. All right, can I save it there? Save and quit. Does that get me to the menu or out of the whole game? Back to the menu. My name is Chris from Roundtable Cop. That was my first look at Dredge. And thank you very much to Team Seventeen for the review key. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.